show you a couple of exercises for back bottom. The first exercise is going to be you putting down your fingers on your strings and make sure they're nice and relaxed. Make sure my wrist is one with my forearm and I'm gonna slide my fingers up onto the strings and bring them back down. As you're sliding, I'm not putting any pressure on my fingers. I'm not pressing down. I'm just letting them slide nice and relax. Once you get um, that movement down, you can start to make smaller movements. And if you feel comfortable with that, then I can do even faster, smaller movements. That on its own is a good exercise to get the movement for vibrato. What we don't want is our wrists to do this when we're learning vibrato. So this is a good first way to start. Now, another exercise could be um, having your first finger down on the E string. And as you can see, my hand is straight. My I'm playing with the tip of my finger and that's the way I'm gonna set it down onto the string. Um, what you wanna do is you wanna imagine you have a string pulling you back. And when I do that, my finger goes a little bit more flat and you're going to uh, place your finger and the string is gonna to touch on this part of your finger. So I'm doing the way that I'm used to putting my finger, my hand, and then I'm pushing back. Normal, back, normal, back. And if you wanna try it on your other fingers, you can try it on second finger. That was also an easy way to start. And you can see it more with the second finger. And again, I'm not just doing this. My wrist is connected to my forearm. And you can try this exercise without the bow for the first few times. And then when you feel comfortable doing that movement, then I would go ahead and use my bow. You can see you're rolling your finger back and then bringing it back to place rolling your finger back and bringing it back to place now you can do that with a metronome um, and if you want to start speeding up your metronome you can make it go a little bit faster <laughs> And I would fit maybe four to a string if you're making it to a bow, if you're making it a little bit faster. Now, um, if I want to challenge myself and make it even faster, I can go faster. And again, you don't want to go fast if you're going to jeopardize your form. If you're going fast and you're doing this, that's not going to help with you developing your vibrato. So you wanna make sure you start off slow and then slowly speed up to eventually having your nice um, fast vibrato. I hope this helped and um, again, you wanna try these slowly at home and start with um, sliding your fingers and then using your fingers and eventually maybe you can try doing the D major scale um, with the same movement slowly um, bringing it back and forth.